Hey guys, welcome back to Diecast Reviews. This is a review on Drift Party Mater and Dragon Lightning Queen. The Tokyo Mater 2 pack that Mattel has recently released. I say recently, about two months ago. Obviously, Mattel has been venturing back into the Cars Tune stuff for some reason this year. Um, I don't mind, I'm happy, but it's interesting because, you know, they haven't released Cars Tune stuff since, I want to say, what, 2016? Um, so since before Cars 3 came out, 2016, yeah, it's been, what, almost seven years? They haven't done Cars 2 stuff, and then, well, the addition of Cars on the Road, Cars on the Road came back, and then Mattel, or came out, and Mattel was like, yeah, why not, we'll do Cars, uh, 2 stuff. Uh, so they ventured into Tokyo Mater this year, had a couple singles, a couple 2-packs, which is pretty cool, first time they've done Toons 2-packs. Uh, who knows, maybe we'll get some more stuff, uh, in the coming years, in the coming, you know, next year, maybe, but... We did get technically a new release, Kabuto with Flames, uh, was a new variant, so technically did get something, an uncancelled variant, uh, even, so, you know, who knows, maybe we'll get some good stuff, they still have never done a Brave and Private Eye uh, diecast at this point, I'm kind of running out of hope, but who knows, maybe, maybe this resurgence of the Cars tune stuff, I'll do the uh, Brave and Private Eye stuff, but I'm not holding out too much hope, anyways, obviously this is Tokyo Mater, got the, I mean, it's Drift Party Mater, right, so he's got no hood, and Stuff's all broken off, but then they just put the regular Mater up here. Regular Drift uh, Tokyo Mater up here. Dragon Lightning McQueen. Pretty cool, because I don't think they usually do card arts. Pretty sure whenever they release, like, any uh, Tokyo Mater stuff, right? It's just this. This is a card art. So I don't know if they've actually done a uh, Dragon Lightning McQueen card art before. Like, I, in my last week's video, Kabuto uh, with Flames and Kabuto Ninja, they don't do... They've never done card art for those guys. So, not sure if they've done one for Dragon Lightning McQueen or not, but... Regardless... Here they are. So there's the back, like I showed you, just Tokyo from Cars 2. Um, and there's two cars. So, yeah, let's get these two out of the package. So here they both are out of the package, and they do look very nice. Let's start off with a Dragon Lightning McQueen, because I think he's been released a little bit more often than Drift Party Mater here. Um, but Dragon Lightning McQueen has always had this very calm, like really, really calm, relaxed expression. Honestly, it looks, you know, it's way too calm, I think, for the uh, role he played in the short. Uh, it's a bad expression, I think, and yeah, here it is. I don't really like it. It doesn't give off the same vibe that McQueen gave off in the short. But, uh, there you go. On the hood there, he's got a uh, Japanese symbol. I'm not sure what that says. Maybe dragon, like McQueen. I don't know. If anyone knows, let me know. But I don't know what that symbol says. But there it is. Looks pretty nice. He's all red. I mean, as you know, is, is like McQueen red. Uh, on the side here, he's got like this dragon that's kind of resembling a lightning bolt. You can see there's the dragons and the head there. And then obviously it's in like this lightning bolt shape. He's got, you can see his uh, feet right down there. Very cool, very detailed uh, logo there. Very creative as well by my, uh, Disney, you know, to make it in this lightning shape. He's got flames coming out there behind him. Kind of the dragon, you can see breathing flames and then you know, behind the dragon there. Very, very cool. Also extends right here, he goes up to the spoiler, which is pretty cool that they got that there as well. And you can see the flames go all the way up to the spoiler as well. So, Pretty cool. I uh, really like the design and detail there on him. He's got these rims that I think are unique. I don't think any other McQueen has these rims. Aside from, you know, Dragon McQueen, obviously. But, uh, there they are. Go to the back. He's got some flames just coming around the back. As I lose that there, but he's got some flames just coming around the back there. Nothing much. Uh, in terms, of, obviously, he's got some kind of tail like decals there, but not much detail, much of anything there. And obviously, he's got this big spoiler. It is all plastic, of course. Yeah. But pretty cool. Obviously, this is Cars Tunes, uh, so around 2010. So it's kind of a precursor to uh, Cars 2. And you know, Dragon Lane McQueen is not that unsimilar, not that different from. Uh, World Grand Prix McQueen, kind of, you know, the way he's shaped with the spoiler and stuff. 
uh, yeah, he's really not different, not, you know, he got, kind of got the same idea going as, uh, World Grand Prix Lake McQueen, so, you know, who knows, maybe they copied some, uh, something from Dragon McQueen, of course, he does kind of have, like, a weird shape to him, like, he doesn't look like a, from McQueen, McQueen. maybe it's just because, uh, the expression and stuff make it seem like that, but it just looks a little wide in the front, again, it could just be the expression, I don't know, but, Dragon McQueen, like McQueen, pretty cool. Uh, I really like the detail on it. And I think, I do think Talon did a nice job. It almost looks like a China one. The eyes look pretty cool, pretty good. Uh, the decals are nice. So, so Talon stuff, I think, improving a little bit. S21A is when this one was uh, released. Or made, rather. Released in August sometimes, whatever. Anyways, that's Dragon Lightning McQueen. Let's move on to Drift Party Mater. I think he's more of the star of the set. I think, you know, all the cartoons are about Mater, so I, I think he's kind of the start of the set. And he looks pretty cool. He's pretty heavy as well. I mean, I'm pretty sure both the cab and the uh, back part are metal, so. Yeah, let's take a look at him. Obviously, this is kind of Mater. Uh, after he's lost all his modifications, he kind of, like, came down. I think he, like, dropped, like, when McQueen pushed him out of the pipe, and I think he came down, like, dropped on the road, and he kind of lost everything. So this is resembling that, of course. It's not too accurate because for that to be accurate, you have to have a bunch of like oil spills, oil marks all along the side. But you know, whatever. Uh, this is, I think, this is based. Uh, actually, this was first released back in 2010. Myself so was not very accurate back in 2010, so talent does not correct the mistakes. But uh, of China back in 2010, but you know, whatever. We'll just go with this, I guess. I do like the expression. It is the kind of like a classic Mater expression, but I think the eyes are moved in. Uh, obviously, they're a little more centered. They're also bigger, I think. I'll compare them to a brand new Mater here in a sec, but yeah, they're definitely a little closer together. He's got the brown hood there, a brown engine. I do like the rust detail there. I do think that's pretty cool talent in it. Good job on that rust, rusty detail there. He does have both of his lights, though. Headlights. He's also got pretty cool rims again. These are unique to... Uh, Tokyo made and actually the Thailand ribs are a little bit different from the China ribs. I'm going to show you here in a second uh, Maybe just be because of a lack of fenders. I don't know. We'll show this show in a second here um, He's got a more Japanese characters here. I believe um, And don't know I don't know if those are Japanese characters or not um, I think maybe it was just like a sponsor uh, Don't know if you know what that is supposed to mean he does have some sponsors up there. It looks like he has a Japanese flag. I think that's Nitro Aid. That's just a Japanese brand. I'm not sure actually. Let's see. That is definitely RPM there on the bottom. And I think it's maybe Vitaline right there. The uh, second one at the bottom. RPM, Vitaline. And that's either Nitro Aid or a Japanese brand. I can't quite tell. Has nitrate colors, but it doesn't look like it says nitrate. Um, there's a China version here. Let's see if it's a little bit clearer. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know if that says nitrate or not. I can't quite tell. Anyways, moving on to the back. Obviously, he's lost his huge spoiler, so it's just the tow hook now. Um, really nothing special with that. And then go to the back here. Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing too special there. Move my camera here. There we go. But uh, yeah, that is Drift Party Mater. Here he's compared to just Tokyo Mater from China back in I think it's the 2013 release. Yeah. So uh, there you go. Um, obviously they did change the expression, but I think China changed the expression from Drift Party Mater too back in 2010. Obviously, you can see the differences right off the bat. The hood is gone. Go to the side. It looks like... Oh, I can't even see that. Um, you can see the differences in the rims are a little different. A little bit more... Uh, the silver is a little bit more apparent on the Thailand rims compared to the China ones. It also... You can see how the wheels are like inside fenders, right? And then they're outside here. I can't quite... I don't think that's accurate to the short, but I don't know, because it doesn't really make sense for him to just, like, lose half of his body, right? When he crashed down, I don't know. Um, 
Maybe it is though, because you can see that he's got like a little bit of detail. Yeah, see that. A little bit of detail right there. It's got a little line right there. Uh, yeah, it's not present on the Drift Party version. Um, they but they do make these characters here a lot more uh, brighter. You can see it just kind of blends in. You can clearly see that that stands out there. Also, I did forget to mention that right there is the uh, rear view mirror. Fall, fell off. But obviously in the back here, he's got the huge spoiler. No more. Uh, also, he's got tailpipes here that I believe he still had here. He's got the uh, tail lights as well. So, interesting how, you know, there's some discrepancies between the two versions that I don't think are can be attributed to the short. I don't like, I don't think that he just lost tail lights when he, uh, Went in the shore and, you know, kind of smashed onto the road. I don't know. Uh, interesting to see, of course. But, uh, yeah, definitely some discrepancies there. There is the China Tokyo Manor. Let's compare them to the brand new Manor. Because uh, the colors are kind of similar. Here's what I was talking about. The eyes, obviously, being centered a little bit more. And also, you can see how... A little bigger, I think. But actually, the colors is quite similar. Not the same, but kind of similar between brand new manor and Tokyo Drift Party Manor and just Tokyo Manor in general I think this is like a China release but I think this was released in one of those Toys R Us three packs let's take a look at the base here S23A so uh, released two weeks later after or made two weeks later at least after this guy but anyways let me know what you guys think of this two pack uh, it's pretty cool. I do like, again, the Mattel's uh, going back into the Cars 2 and stuff. And uh, releasing two, two packs is a new thing they've never done before in their history. So I think that's also pretty cool. I reviewed both of the two uh, two packs here back-to-back. -back. Last week, Kabuto and Kabuto Ninja. This week, these two. Let me know which pack you prefer. Uh, did you pick up any of the packs? If you did, what are your thoughts on them? Let me know all that down in the comments below. But for now... Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.